Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders board. Mitchell Renz here with the latest Las Vegas Raiders news. I wouldn't be able to do today's show, and I probably wouldn't have a girlfriend either if it wasn't for our awesome sponsor, Manscaped. So head on over to manscaped.com. Use code Raiders. Not only are they helping my downstairs, but they've really elevated the game from the belly button up as well. So exactly what we're going to be talking about here today is I think all the top trending news that if you were a Raiders fan, you would want to know today. And we're going to talk about Jacobs, Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, Dave Ziegler, and then ESPN insider Field Yates predicted a certain quarterback to go to the silver and black. So let's get in now to the latest around Jacobs. And when you think about Jacobs, there are definitely a few things that you need to keep in mind. The first is Josh McDaniels at the Combine has stated that he wants to have Jacobs back. That's a good thing. However, though, and there's a part of me where I kind of want my girlfriend Alex to start sending McDaniels calendar invites like I get because you got until March 7th at 4 p.m. Eastern time to make a decision on whether or not you're going to tag him. Because I think no matter what, if you're the Raiders, you have to either tag him or you have to give him a contract extension by that deadline. Because if you let him actually hit the open market, I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> I really don't. There's going to be a team out there that is a running back away that is not going to be afraid to offer Jacobs a little bit more money. So when you hear that, it needs to happen by March 7th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So my question to you out there is, what's going to happen with Jacobs? Are you going to tag him? Do you extend him? Or do you actually let him go? A running back who led the NFL in rushing yards. A guy who led the NFL in total yards with over 2,000. What is going to happen with number 28? From people who I talk to and then also my gut feeling, it's this. I would say that the current odds for Josh Jacobs are franchise tag is going to come in at somewhere around 50% chance. Flip a coin. Extension, somewhere around 45% chance. I would say right now that there is a 5% chance that Jacobs is not a member of the Silver and Black as it comes to next season. I do know this, man. If that happens... It's going to be pandemonium, and we're going to be live when it happens because if we enter March 7th and there is still no updates on Jacobs, I'm going to go live bright and early like I did for the Derek Carr show. Jeremy Chuggs and I breaking it all down. Hopefully when the news happens, we celebrate. Might pop a bottle of champagne no matter what, though. When the Jacobs news happens, we're going to cover it here on the Raiders Report. So subscribe, turn on those notifications because if you miss it, the big L for you. Coming up next here on the show, Aaron Rodgers. What is the latest around what many Raider fans are calling him Punxsutawney Phil? If you don't know that reference, you're not from Pennsylvania. And the reason why we're talking about it is because I don't know the last time I talked about a player this much. That's a lie. Talked a lot about Tom Brady. But somebody who's not on the Raiders yet, or maybe not even going to be on the team, it is around Rodgers. And since he is, we'll say, escaped from his darkness retreat, he has talked about his future, and he recently said, I don't want to drag anybody around. When I listened to that quote, I heard it more as when he says drag anybody around, he doesn't want the team that he's on to feel that he's an anchor, that he's not still helping the team out. Rodgers also said for everybody involved directly and indirectly, it's best for a decision earlier. Aaron, I 100% agree with that. The sooner you can get something going here, on uh, whether you're staying with Green Bay or you're going elsewhere, we got to know sooner rather than later. I do think, though, it does sound like a decision is going to be made soon. And he's going to figure out whether he's going to retire, whether he's going to stay with the Green Bay Packers. From what I understand, though, the Raiders are not interested anymore in bringing Rodgers to this team. They want to look... To the future and they don't really believe that Rodgers is going to be a future part of the silver and black so be real with me right now <laughs> I see the comments I'm always down in the comments section whether it's on YouTube whether it's on social media scale it for me from 1 to 10 how sick and tired of you are you around the Aaron Rodgers talk on this show the Raiders report one you're not sick of it 10 you can't freaking stand it anymore I'm starting to get close to a 7 and 8 already, man. So to me, though, once Rodgers makes up his mind, the reason why I also want this to happen is because I'm an NFL fan at heart. Yes, obviously I do this for a job, do it for a career, but I love when dominoes start to fall. And Rodgers is the first one. The Rodgers domino is going to go down. Then I bet you the Derek Carr one is going to fall. Other big-time stuff is going to happen. 
but it all starts when Aaron Rodgers makes his decision. Next story up here on the Raiders board is around Devontae Adams. And Dave Ziegler had some interesting things to say about Adams and how much of an impact he has in the making a quarterback decision. Before I get into that, hey man, we got a brand new product that I am really excited to talk about here at Manscaped. And if you haven't already, go to Manscaped. Dot com Use code Raiders for 20% off. And the reason why this is an important product is because not only is it new, well, if you have hair sticking out of your nose, I don't know if you've ever seen somebody that's got hair sticking out of their nose, you're not going to listen to anything that they say. This is a public service announcement. Manscaped now has beard products and is going even further with their brand new Weed Whacker 2.0. Go ahead, tell the world the leaders in below-the-waist grooming are traveling north of your South Pole with their revolutionary grooming products. The new Weed Whacker 2.0 and their new beer line confirms they have all the best tools for your hygiene toolbox. So get 20% off and free shipping with our code Raiders at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at Manscaped.com. Just use code Raiders. Always use the right tools for the job here at Manscaped. Seriously, though, I've been using the Weed Whacker 1.0. I'm pretty excited to get my hands on the Weed Whacker 2.0. But realistically, when you think about, we'll call it the dating life. I've been out of the game now for about three years. But I know for a fact, if you're not trimmed down there and you don't look good up here either, you're not going to get to where you want to go, guys. So I'm just trying to help you out. And ladies, if you're looking at your husband, significant other, look at him right now. If there's shit hanging out of his ears, his nose... Get the Weed Whacker 2.0. Don't do it for them. Do it for you. Code Raiders, Manscaped.com. One guy who's definitely looking clean all the time is Devontae Adams. And now we're going to get into the latest around number 17. Devontae, in terms of he talked to Ziegler, talked to McDaniels earlier in the offseason when they moved on from Derek Carr and was like, hey, man, you guys traded two picks for me. You paid me $140 million. I want to be in that room. I want to be a part of that conversation when it comes to who's going to be under center for the Raiders. And apparently, according to Ziegler, he said that uh, Adams is at least in that loop on who the next quarterback decision is going to be. And when you think about all the QBs that the Raiders could potentially go with, right? There's guys in free agency. There's guys in the draft. I'm going to tell you all this right now. Yeah, there's definitely players that I like more than others. But if Devontae Adams, and like he's honest with you, and if he looks at all of us and he says, I'm good with that quarterback, Yes, I'm probably going to be okay with that quarterback as well. Because if Adams is good with it, chances are he's not going to bullshit us because at the end of the day, he is a Raider after all. But this is also very intriguing to me because Ziegler had some choice words around Adams and there was a lot of speculation of, could Devontae leave? Are the Raiders going to trade him? Which I have said over and over again. No, 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 no. Michael Scott, no. Ziegler said that Devontae is actually one of the closest relationships he's ever had with a player. So you combine that close relationship with the fact that he knows that he wants to be tied in. I like the sound of that. But at the end of the day, we do have to be able to realize their job is head coach and general manager. And Ziegs did say that Devontae knows that he's not selecting who the quarterback is. Essentially, yes, you can be in the room. You can have those conversations with us. But at the end of the day, it's going to be the general manager. At the end of the day, it's going to be your head coach that decides who's going to be the quarterback. You're just hoping that Devontae is also on board. So here we go. Do you trust Ziegler and McDaniels to make the right choice at quarterback? Give me a yes or give me a no. I don't know. Like, that's the worst part I can say this. Like, do I think moving on from Derek was the right move? Yes. But I have also seen McDaniel select his quarterback before, and his name was Tim Tebow in the first round. Not great. But then again, well, you know, Mac Jones, he was a pro bowler in 2021. Do I trust them? Not really. But hey, that's what makes this team fun to cover, right? Final story here on the Raiders Report is actually from Field Yates, ESPN Insider. And I don't know if he copied a video that I did for Chat Sports a few weeks ago, but he released a brand new article. And if you don't have ESPN Plus, luckily for you, we're going to talk about it here today. But they essentially tried to look into their crystal balls, not presented by Manscaped, and predict all the starting quarterbacks for all 32 teams. So what we're going to look at here is who they thought made the most sense for Ziegler, for McDaniels, and then I'll tell you whether or not I think it makes sense or not. So the article was, Will Levis starting for the Raiders, 
in 2023, the week one starter. If that happens, obviously you're going to take him in round one. He's going to be probably your number seven overall pick. In terms of why did they go this route, this is what Fields had to say. Levis would provide McDaniels the second chance in three years to develop a first-round quarterback. He is talking about Mac Jones there, but when you think about the prospects in general, I think it's kind of a lazy thing to say because Mac Jones and Will Levis, the comparison to me makes no sense. It's like trying to compare a tomato to a chicken breast. Like, yeah, I, I, I don't get either of the comparisons. First thing I thought of off the top of my head, Jeremy's looking at me like a crazy man. They don't make any sense because Mac Jones, to me, doesn't have the upside, but his floor is a lot safer than somebody like Will Levis. But let's go right now. Get your red pens out. Permanent Sharpie like we write on for our Raiders Boot Hall of Fame. Grade the pick of Will Levis at number seven. A, B, C, D, or F. Is this going to be something that mom puts up on the fridge? Or is this going to be something that, let's face it, you're not too proud to show off to a lot of people? If this actually ended up going down, it would probably look a lot like my math report card. There's a reason why when I was a freshman in high school, yeah, I went to summer school. I'm not going to lie to you. And Levis at number seven for the Raiders is a C-plus grade to me. He has the upside. There's no doubt about it. But I already told you I'm not that confident in McDaniels to be able to groom the right quarterback. Upside, no doubt, is there. But if you're just going to go upside, I'd rather you go with the guy who, in my personal opinion, has even more upside. And that's Anthony Richardson. Now, y'all, that's all I have for you today. Friendly reminder that Chugs and I, we're going to be live on Friday for our Raiders happy hour. No guarantees it's going to be anything like last week, and it's probably up to Mount Raider more. Tri-Van, Raider Ron, we'll see if Zahn, how he's feeling. Um, <laughs> Raiders podcast, I mean, and Wild 114. It's probably up to all of y'all, but last week was one of the craziest shows I have ever done, and I've done a lot of wild shit on here. So, if anything happens, make sure you're tuned in tomorrow's live show, and if any other kind of stuff happens around the silver and black, I will do my best to keep you updated on Twitter and on Instagram, at MetroRens365. If you don't know where to find me at this point, uh, that's on you.